at Shane Storms with droidforums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Liquid Smooth ROM. This has been ported to the Razer HD by dhacker29. He's been porting all kinds of ROMs over to our device. He just about has CyanogenMod 10 perfect on our device. He's now got Liquid Smooth here. I haven't really run into any bugs or issues. And I'm not sure if any even exists for this ROM. And then, of course, there's Paranoid Android by dhacker as well. So first I just want to talk about the experience of the ROM itself. Uh, most of the time when we're flashing a ROM it's to get rid of the bloatware from Verizon. Uh, Moto Blur is not very intrusive but there are tons of bloat apps from Verizon. If you want to get rid of those the quickest and easiest way would be to install an AOSP ROM. Of course you're going to get lots and lots of speed and performance out of a ROM like Liquid Smooth, but you're also going to get lots and lots of customization features. So the first thing I want to do here is test out the camera app just to make sure it is working. A lot of times that will be the one thing that is buggy. But you guys can see we're taking pictures, no problems. And of course this is the Google camera application. No problems recording video. I don't see the Photosphere app. I see panorama, video, and pictures, but no Photosphere. And let's see here. Get the front side there. And that's working just fine. So nothing is wrong with the camera. As you guys can see, it's fully functional. And we have all of our settings here. So this is not the 4.3 camera, it's still the 4.2.2 camera. And you guys saw that there was no photo sphere. So that's the camera with this ROM. And as far as I know, Bluetooth is fully functional. Wi-Fi tethering is fully functional. This ROM is very fast. I ran a Quadrant score earlier and was getting about 5,000 on the Quadrant, which is really good for a dual-core device. And as you guys can see, it just really moves through the screens very fast. Now, it comes uh, stocked with Nova Launcher, which is a custom launcher with its own settings. You can see that it's doing the cube rotation transition animation there. And that comes stock out of the box. So we'll look at our settings and about phone. You see that we're running Android 4.2.2 on the Razer HD. And the Liquid Smooth version is JB 2.8. So in the settings, one great thing about Liquid Smooth is all the customization options. You see that there's several customization options here to choose from. If we go into Interface, you have Halo options, which uh, for those of you that don't know, Halo is kind of like a multitasking bubble that will give you notifications that allows you to access that full application. And if I turn it on, I can just give you guys a little demonstration. I can give you guys just a little demonstration of Halo, so we'll enable it. And here it is. You guys can see that I've got my Gmail notification that just pops up. Any other notification that I would have, like a text messaging or Facebook or Twitter, anything that has notifications will pop up in Halo. You can choose uh, to open that application. It just kind of gives you a little window so that you can multitask. If we click on that again, it should go away. Or if we click out of it, it'll go away. And then it'll just kind of sit there uh, until we get rid of those notifications. So you can customize that. There's all kinds of customization features for Halo where you can disable it all together. You've got a custom carrier label here. So when you pull that down, you can customize that. Lock screen, lots of lock screen settings. You can allow for rotation. You can turn on battery status. You can add widgets to your lock screen. You can add custom targets to your lock screen and custom shortcuts and a custom background. Navigation buttons. Uh, you can choose to enable them or disable them. If you have Pi Control, there's no need to have those enabled. You can change the targets. Uh, you can change the quantity of buttons here. And then you can choose whatever you want for those navigation buttons. You can even add applications to your nav bar. There's also the nav ring. So if we pull this up right now, I just have Google Now on there. Uh, but there's, you know, you can add any other app to your nav ring. Performance settings, this would be where you change your clock speed and enable your governors. 
and there are all kind of other settings in here as well. You kind of should know what you're doing though before you uh, mess around in the performance settings. Pi controls, everybody loves Pi controls. Uh, you can enable these for expanded desktop mode or you can choose to have them on always. So to turn these on if you had it only for expanded desktop you would have to enable the expanded desktop and now you have your Pi controls. Of course there's all kinds of settings in Pi controls. You can change colors, you can add buttons, and you can even add a second layer of buttons. So lots and lots of settings for your Pi control. The power menu, you can choose add the screenshot and there are several other toggles that you can add to your power control. You have power widgets. If you turn these on, then you'll have a set of widgets there in your drop-down notifications. Quick settings. This would be if you drag with, with two fingers. And you can change all of these quick settings here. You can choose to uh, have a quick pull down. So now I have it set for the left. So if I grab over here, that'll pull down my quick settings. And if I grab from the right, it'll just be my regular, my regular notification panel. Choose the tiles and layout. Status bar, this is where you can change your battery icon. On the fly. You can change your clock. So I have center clock here. But you can have it on the right side like normal. It's just easier to see for me in the center. and all kinds of other settings, notification counts. So earlier you saw that I had four emails. It actually counts your notifications. Then you have your themes. You have your themes. So any theme that is compatible with Signage Mod 10 from the Play Store you can apply in Liquid Smooth. And that's about all for the customization options. So as you can see there, there's plenty to play around with in the customization options. Uh, in fact, I sat around and played with this the other day for about half an hour, just getting it all set up the way that I like it. So if you'd like to install this ROM on your Razer HD, uh, head down to the link in the description. I have a tutorial on how to install this to your device. It's very simple. If you've installed a ROM in the past, you should already know how to do this. The big thing is here is you need an unlock bootloader and a custom recovery installed before you proceed with installing this ROM. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Razer HD and other devices that are coming to Verizon in the near future. You can find more of us at droidforums.net where you can find the latest in Android news and you can discuss uh, all the Android topics there. Uh, that's where you will find me. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.